welcome back to another episode of Into the Word, your weekly bite-sized dose of Bible with me, Pastor Jonty and Rev Ness. Hello. How are you? Oh, fruit of the spirit. Here we go. Are you feeling patient today? Well, I'm anxious. <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> yes. So today we're obviously continuing our look through the fruits of the spirit and the one we're up to today is patience, patience and forbearance. Yes. Which is patience. Do you have it? Do you have it as a spiritual gift? It's, oh man, I, I, I have to try really hard to be patient sometimes. Mm. It's not a natural gifting for me. Um, I'm a lot better at it now than I used to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I find myself getting frustrated, getting anxious, get and frustrated with other people. Yeah, all the yeah. time. All the time. Yep. But it's that cycle of like, oh, I'm frustrated with other people. Oh, now I'm frustrated at myself because I shouldn't be frustrated <laughs> at people, and it just starts this thing. And then does it make you anxious? <laughs> yeah, and then and then I'm like, yeah, 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 exactly. So it's patience a, is a gift that I wish I had more of. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think. I had much patience mm. in my growing up, but I have developed a pretty solid um, dose of it mm. as I as I've matured into my Christianity. Mm-hmm. It's interesting because I definitely was not a patient person at mm. all. Um, always biting at the bit, waiting and waiting and wanting it now, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, patience has been a good thing, and being patient with one another is an important virtue to have. When you're leading a church, yeah, isn't it? (laughs) Certainly, an important virtue to have when uh, (laughs) technical things start to go wrong. Oh, mate! You're trying to chug through a whole bunch of video editing. Oh, I bet. Patience is very much a virtue. But before we get into the Bible verse, sure, do you want to hit us with a bit of context? Yeah. So Paul is the the Bible verse is coming from Ephesians, Ephesians chapter four. Yeah, and Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus. And I'm thinking there must have been a little bit of angst going on there and disharmony and disunity amongst the new Christians that are happening in in, um, Ephesus. And he begins a section that you're going to read where he's urging his readers to live according to the calling that they've received as as new believers. And this, of course, he says, um, includes things like humility and gentleness and patience and love and unity and peace were essential. And Paul notes the importance of uh, one spirit, the hope and the Lord in faith, baptism, God and the Father of all. Grace is given to each as Christ desires. So it, it's it's um, he's really wanting to emphasise the importance of these um gifts, these fruits of the spirit and underlining today, there's a few of them in there, isn't there? But we're going to look at um, patience. Patience. Do you yeah. want to give it to us? Yeah, yeah. So this is the first six verses from chapter four of Ephesians. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Mm. So the spiritual fruit or this virtue Mm. is forbearance. That's a word we don't often use today, isn't it? But Mm. the the other word that we can often hear is long-suffering. Mm. And the synonym for that is patience. Yep. That's what we tend to use in more modern yep. um, language today, don't we? Mm. Um, and I, I think in the kind of world that we live in, fast-paced kind of gig that we all are a part of, patience is not something that is a virtue that many people have, certainly not in peak hour traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Tooting the horn and getting... Through the harbour tunnel. Agitated. <laughs> you know, come on, yeah. Sydney traffic, hurry along, you know. Um but the Holy Spirit we know has this like never-ending supply of patience. If we tap into that and pray about that, that will certainly um, flood our hearts, certainly at times when we need it, but we've just got to remember to do it. Mm. And that passage sort of says, be completely humble and gentle. So the gentleness piece is one of the fruits of the Spirit also. So humility and gentleness and patience, like there's... A whole bunch of those shoved in there together, fruits of the spirit. Virtue sandwich, yeah. Yeah, a virtue sandwich. And it says bearing with one another in love. 
Yeah. So it's not even patience for your own self. It's yeah. patience. Well, it's patience in how we behave with others so as to operate in love yeah. so as to maintain the uni- unity mm. of, of, of the tribe. Of the believers, yeah, and yeah, yeah. for Paul, the church. Which in in and the reason I read the full six verses there mm. for, for some further context is he goes on to talk about one body, one spirit, yeah. one baptism, one et cetera, Faith. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Part of uh, linking exactly back to that. Part of the reason we are called to be patient with each other in love mm. as Christians is for the sake of the body, for yeah. the sake of the broader community of, of followers is in being patient with each other when we screw up, yeah. when we kind of annoy each other, when maybe we do something wrong, yep. when, you know, whatever, part of being a family mm. is being patient. We can only go as fast as the slowest person is, right. is the, like the old kind of idiom. So like part of living together and growing together in discipleship and in community is being patient with each other because if we don't have our crew... right. We're isolated. And we don't, we're not all at the same point of our exactly. Christian journey, yeah, yeah. right? It's not like we all start in year one in school or K in school and we move yeah. through the HSC and we're all learning the same stuff at the same time. We're all acquiring our Christian knowledge and our Christian experience and our discipleship at different different times and different speeds. Yeah. So, yes, we've got to be patient with each other as yeah. we continue to grow. Yeah. Right? I think like the idea of being impatient with someone mm. um, in that, in this kind of context of mm. like in, in discipleship, like <laughs> you better be, it's almost like you better be patient because how often <laughs> without us realising are people being patient with us? All the time. Like, <laughs> so it's like, dude... <laughs> Yeah, the least you can do is be patient. Oh yes, <laughs> because, like because yeah. it's it's not an exclusive thing. Like everyone screws up, and everyone oh, like you yeah. said, we're we're all at different, different points. Yes, so everyone just has to show patience to everyone. Yeah, otherwise we'll just end up at each other's throats. Like a hundred percent, and we're all on that discipleship journey at different points, and so our experiential knowing of of God and the Spirit is all different for each of us. Yeah. And that's all great. Yeah. We should be, instead of being agitated with each other, be curious and have a wondering mind mm. and ask the questions so as to flesh out how um, God, I suppose, turns up and shows up for the other person that might be agitating us because mm. there we will grow, mm. grow in um, mutual understanding and love and of one another. So there we have it for forbearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. And I, like it, we were talking about um, peace last week Yep. and how not only is it something that we can receive externally but it's something we actually have to practice. Yeah. And I think this is very much the case with patience and has been my experience where as someone that like is very aware of the fact that they want to be like I have a desire to have more capacity for patience. My experience has been when I pray for patience, instead of just being magically more patient, God gives me opportunities to be patient. <laughs> Careful so, what you pray for, brother, they say. <laughs> so, so like it's not it's not a case of like, oh, I want to pray for patience and then God just like tips a little bit extra into the into the vat. Into the vat. And I go, oh, oh that felt good. I'm a bit more patient. No, no, no. It's like no. you have to actually practice it and, and like put it into action in the same way that peace is something that we can receive externally, but it's also something we actually have to take part in. Yeah. So that, yeah, my experience there being like, it's you, want, a verb. You, want, you want to be more patient? You, you just got to do it. Like, yeah. And it's uncomfortable. Give it a crack. And it's hard. It's not like, it's not going to be easy. Like, you just got to do it. And but it also says to be humble and gentle. Yeah. At the same time. So don't be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> but and be patient. To yourself as well. Yeah. I think like, yeah, that, that, that resonates for me a lot actually. Like this idea that when we're trying to be better disciples. Yeah. It's so easy to like compare yourself to other like mm. Christians that you look at and go, oh, wow. Oh, they're so Oh, they're so excellent. And yeah, peaceful. Yeah, yeah. And then it's easy from that vantage point to start to beat yourself up. 100%. A little bit. Like yeah. we need to be patient with ourselves. Yeah. We need to show grace to ourselves. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love this. 
It's good fun, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The next season's going to be less fun. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm pumped. Are you keen? Oh, vices, man. Bring yeah. those on. So we're going to, after we, because we've got a couple more of these fruits of the spirit to go through and then we're going to go through the corresponding vices, oh, vices attached to are, each of them. I've started preaching on those and they are a hoot. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. Yeah, shout out sloth. <laughs> Let me tell you, people, I can't wait to tell you what I know about sloth. <laughs> And it's uh, not the furry dude hanging from a tree either. No, it's not Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> no. um, anything else we want to chat about in terms of patience? Oh, let's just pray that we all get a good dose of it. Yeah. Mm, and, and, and peace and gentleness and humility all in the same batch. Yeah. And a combination, I think, of praying for an external injection of it. Yeah. And also... An opportunity to exercise it. Yes, exactly. Mm. I think in that combination is the sweet yeah. spot. I think I'm going to get that this afternoon on Willoughby Road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i got to head back over the Harbour Bridge. I'm not looking yeah, forward to I'm it. I'm thinking it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if people want to contribute to this conversation, if you want to chat to us about patience or anything else we've talked about on this show, uh, you might have a request for a chunk of passage that you're curious to hear, right. hear about. We'd love to hear from you if you yeah. have any ideas. Um, send us an email at the Filthy Hope email address, filthyhopepod at gmail.com or join us on the Facebook group where uh, we'd love to have a, a longer conversation with you. Mm. Um, we've got Filthy Hope coming up as always next Tuesday if you're a listener, if not, uh, right back here next Wednesday for some more Into the Word for right. the last handful of Fruits of the Spirit. Can't wait. We'll see you guys then. Have a great week and be patient. Mm.